How's it going guys? Just a quick PSA for you all. First of all, you're still going to be getting your daily dose of Wi-Fi battles from me. That's not going to change. However, I did make a second channel. On this channel, I'll be covering all Nintendo games as they come out and similar N Nintendo-esque games as well. For example, we're currently covering Little Kitty Big City and Princess Peach Showtime. If you're interested in seeing me play other games apart from Pokemon, then be sure to go check out the new channel and join me on this new journey. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having a battle versus a good buddy of mine, Cypher BLK. Go check out his YouTube channel, there's a link in the description down below. Definitely, definitely go and check him out. If you, if you like watching Wi-Fi battles like this, then you should definitely check him out because he does the exact same stuff, just with his own personality and flair. Amazing stuff. But of course, if you want to see more videos like this and you find yourself enjoying it, then make sure you subscribe for more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles. And with that being said, let's jump into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Hunter. So they're going to lead off with a Rainbow Trout, the Basque Legion, as we lead off with our Zapdos. So we're off to a very good start already. It's a great matchup. They probably don't outspeed us because it's a Basque Legion and they're not that fast. So I think I'm pretty safe going for a Volt Switch here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So they go for an Ice Beam. They do outspeed us. And that does half to our Zapdos. We go for a Volt Switch, though. That is going to definitely do, take them, them down to half as well, pretty much. Um, so that's great damage for us uh, on the Basque Legion. Now, are they Scarfed? Is that why they outsped or do they just outspeed us? I think they just outspeed us, personally. So I'm going to go into Gardevoir now. Gardevoir is a pretty good one. And they could, if they are Scarfed, if they aren't Scarfed, um, and they're just outspeed uh, naturally. They are Adaptability, though. That's, that's good to have for my Gardevoir. That's really good to have for my Gardevoir. So I'm looking at that team and I'm thinking, you know what? We've got a lot of things we can do here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go for a, um, I think expanding, I think they go into Gudra. So I'm going to go for a Moonblast real quick. They do withdraw because they can know they can't take out Gardevoir with Ice Beam. They must be Scarfed or something because they haven't got Rain. And they're going to go into Escargoon, which is going to be the uh, Hisuian Gardevoir, um, Gudra. We get an Adaptability Boosted Moonblast off, which does a lot of damage and lowers the special attack, which is amazing. So what we can do here is we could Terra um, or something along those lines. I think Moonblast is a free at KO though. I'm going to go for another Moonblast, you know. I'm, I'm actually going to go for it because that Flash Cannon from them is not going to hurt that much. So we go for another Moonblast, which is great. Does a nice chunk of damage to them. They go for a Flash Cannon. I bet this is going to bounce right off us. It does. <laughs> Nicely done. Now, do we Terra Fire? I don't think we should Terra Fire. I think they probably either switch out into their Arcanine, Arcanine, um, or they stay in and go for another Flash Cannon. I think my best bet's probably going to be either Zapdos or Dreadnought. I think Dreadnought could be a good one. Um, we can go for that Earthquake. That'll hurt everything on the team except from the Weezing. Dreadnought does really well against that team, actually, after a Shell Smash. I think I will stay in and just go for a Moonblast here. I, a Moonblast is doing more damage than Aura Sphere because of the adaptability. So we go for another one. Lower the special attack even further, which is what we like. They go for another Flash Cannon, so it's going to do even less damage this turn unless they get a crit, which they don't, luckily. And now I'm going to go for an Expanding Force in, just in case they go into Arcanine. So they stay in. They let the Gudra go down to an Expanding Force, which is fine. Uh, I went for it, like, literally, like I said, just in case they went into the likes of the Weezing or they went into the Arcanine. Um, that would have been bad if they went to an Arcanine. But they're going to go into Zarude, which is a good, it's definitely a good Pokemon to go into there. It's got the little pink neck chief thing going on, which is cool. Um, so we have got a couple of options. We can go Donphan to take a knockoff here, um, or we can go Zapdos. I'm going to go with a Zapdos option because we resist the Power Herb, and if they go for knockoff, yes, it'll KO my Zapdos, but we'll also potentially paralyze them as well. Um, plus, I can always Healing Wish into Gardevoir later if we think Gardevoir is going to be especially useful in Psychic Terrain. So I'm going to go into my uh, Zapdos real quick, like so. They go for a knockoff, which should KO Zapdos. It does, but we may get the static. We do get the static, which is really nice. Really nice for us. The hack is on our side today, which is great. As Zapdos does go down. But I didn't really need Zapdos for anything. It gets outsped by the Basque Legion. Um, it gets KO'd by this thing, for example. They are Life Orb as well, which is really good to know. So, what we can do now is we could go into our Gardevoir once again. Our Gardevoir is max speed, so we definitely outspeed them. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Gardevoir. Good old Sir Knight. And like I said, we are speed because they are paralyzed. We trace their Leaf Guard. No, that really does anything for us. 
Um, and now we can just fire off a Moonblast once again. I am going to fire off a Moonblast because the chip damage on the Arcanine is still chip damage at the end of the day. So they're going to Terra. What type are they going to Terra into? We may lose Gardevoir here. We may lose Gardevoir here, just depending on what set they go for. Terra Fairy. Okay, so Terra Fairy. So it's still going to take some nice damage from the Moonblast, which is great and all. But it's no longer super effective. So we go for that Moonblast. Does a lot of damage. Not too much because Zerud is a legendary after all. It's still got some, you know, it's got... Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. That is unfortunate. I feel bad. I don't know because Gardevoir's popping off right now. <laughs> so Zerud goes down to a Paralysis Moonblast. Oh, Wow. Poor Hunter. The hacks is really on my side today. I, I'm, it's my lucky break. It's my lucky break. So in comes Buzz. Who's Buzz? The Ampharo. So Ampharos can take a hit, that's for sure. Ampharos can take a hit. So I'm going to get the Psychic Terrain up first with Ndidi. That way we'll block the Arcanine's Extreme Speed as well, which would be really nice. So we'll withdraw our Gardevoir. And we will go straight into Ndidi. And then we'll start firing off some Expanding Forces. Because they haven't really got anything to take in Expanding Force. Um, except from this thing. This thing's got some special bulk, especially if they're Assault Vest, which they may be. They are an agility set, though, which is really interesting. So agility, Ampharos comes through. Ampharos, if you didn't know, has a pretty poor speed, but really good special attack and some really good bulk. So I'm going to go for that Expanding Force first and foremost. So they go for a Meteor Beam. Power Herb Meteor Beam? Maybe. Watch them miss, though, because it's, it's not their lucky day. Watch them miss. They don't miss. That's good. I'm glad they didn't miss. I am glad they didn't miss because I felt bad. But that nearly takes us out as we go for Expanding Force, which is going to do a lot of damage to the uh, Ampharos. It actually nearly takes it out. So let's go for that Expanding Force once again. So they go for a T-Bolt, which is obviously going to take us out. Maybe I should have gone into Gardevoir. I, I feel like I should have Healing Wished into Gardevoir because Gardevoir's Expanding Force would do more damage. But it's a bit late for that now, so it's like whatever. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go into Donphan now. Donphan can take any hit this thing wants to throw at us with Sturdy. So I am going to go for it and I'm going to go for an EQ. Because EQ will hit everything on their team except from the Weezing if it's Levitate. So they go for a Terror Blast but they already Terrored so it's not going to do anything. As we eat that like a champ. We go for that EQ and that is going to take out the Ampharos which is amazing. So with Ampharos out of the way... They can definitely go into Basket Legion right now and hit something on my team really hard. My whole team is suffers greatly to adaptability Basket Legion. That's for sure. So in comes Abe Stinkin, which is going to be the Weezing. It's probably going to have Levitate. It does have Levitate. Otherwise, we would have seen an ability pop. Um, so do I go for a Stealth Rocks or do I go for a Switch? Leaning towards the Switch into Skeledurge. I think Skeledurge can do really well here. Um, also leaning towards maybe something else. So... Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch out into... Because they're going to go for a Strange Steam or something. So I think I'm going to go into Gardevoir. There's no way they go for a Sludge Bomb on a Don Fan, that's for sure. And we get a free Expanding Force off with Gardevoir, if that's the case. If they go for a Strange Steam or a Willow. Willow Wisp would be also be pretty cool. We're going to trace their Levitate, which is amazing. Now we can be above ground for whatever reason. They go for a Defog to get rid of the Psychic Terrain. Very good play by my opponent's behalf because now this expanding force is not going to be able to KO much. So let's go for an expanding force anyway just to get some damage off on this Weezing. They haven't really got a switch in. So they they stay in. They let the Weezing go down to an expanding force. Watch it live. It doesn't live. So Weezing goes down. Gardevoir is popping off this game and that is exactly what I wanted. I needed a Gardevoir vid. I wanted a Gardevoir vid. I haven't really done one before. I think I've done one Gardevoir vid before, but like I haven't done one recently. Let's just say that. Actually, no, I have done a Gardevoir raid recently, but it's fine. We'll do another one. Anyway, Basket Legion comes in. I do not have a good switch into this at all. Um, adaptability really hurts us. So I'm tempted. I I'm going to keep Donphan around. I think I'm just going to go for a Moonblast and hope for the best here. So they go for a flip turn, expecting us to switch maybe, but it still takes us out anyway. I'm down for Gardevoir to go down here because it means we get a free switch on the Arcanine now, which is going to be really useful for like Dreadnought, for example. Because we don't know what kind of Arcanine set they are. That's for sure. So Bango is going to come in. The Arcanine. There we go. And then we go into Donphan, I think. Or the Skeledurge. They can't really touch Skeledurge, can they? So I guess we should go Skeledurge. Or do we go Dreadnought? Um, I think... 
I think we go Donphan because Donphan can just go for an EQ. And if they burn us, they burn us. It's no big deal. So I'm going to go into you. And then I'm going to go for an EQ. I don't see any reason not to go for an EQ. They go for it. They're trying out the Curse Extreme Speed Strat. Wow. Okay, that's cool. So they're going to be really slow. Which means that we can outspeed them with Dreadnought now. Which is great. So we go for that EQ. It still does over half, which is amazing. We go for another EQ here. I think the best thing for them to do is go Basket Legion right now. I would go Basket Legion. You want to take some damage, but you'll definitely... No, the Basket Legion wouldn't live in Earthquake, I don't think, because it's at half health. So they go for the Extreme Speed. It's going to do no damage. I would have personally just gone for a Flare Blitz. I'm pretty sure you still outspeed us. Um, so we go for an EQ. That's going to take out the Arcanine, which is great. But now they can finish us off quite easily with Basket Legion. And here's the thing. Basket Legion adaptability could make a comeback here because... We have already terrored. No, we haven't. We haven't terrored. <gasps> we could. So, here's the thing, right? Here's what we do. We haven't terrored yet. So, we go for an Ice Shard here just to get some chip damage off. A little bit of chip can never go wrong. They have to lock themselves into Surf, pretty much, to win the game. So, we go for the Ice Shard. No damage. They go for a Hydro Pump, which is going to definitely take out Don Fan. Adaptability boosted Hydro Pump. Yeah, that's taking us out. They could make a comeback here. Potentially. I think I already terrored. No, I didn't. I didn't already terror. So, so Dreadnought goes down to a Hydro Pump, definitely. Skeledurge, Terror Grass, on the other hand, doesn't. So we're going to go into the Dino Shu uh, Dino Sucus. I can't even pronounce my own nicknames. We're going to Terror Grass. Yes, there we go. Hex. There we are. So we're going to Terrastalize into a Grass type. Hunter's probably sat there like, oh, of course he's Terror Grass. Of course he's Terror Grass. Do it in an American accent, though. Or of course he's Terror Grass. I can't do an American accent. <laughs> but he's going to go... He's probably going to say that. Which would be funny if he did actually say that. They go for a Hydro Pump. It's going to sting still. No, it doesn't actually. It doesn't sting at all. We're specially defensive, so we definitely take that. And then Hex takes out the Basket Legion. And that is going to be the game. So that's a pretty fun one. There's a lot of hacks on my side. But you know what? Screw it. It's Hunter. I don't care. <laughs> GG Hunter. That was a good one. I enjoyed that. Like I said, though, make sure you go check out Cypher's channel. Link in the description down below and on the top right corner of the screen as well. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Let me know if you do use it. I want to hear your thoughts on it, whether you think it's a good team or not. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.